How's it going everybody? James Largo, The Cichlid Shack, thecichlidshack.com, The Cichlid Shack on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Yelp, Google+, Plus, uh, all sorts of other good stuff. Look us up, you'll find us. Um, we're here to do another inventory walkthrough. Um, we got a shipment in um, last Friday. If you follow us on Instagram, you saw all the boxes as they came in. Um, we waited this time to do the video so that they could quarantine. Um, they will come out of quarantine probably tomorrow and um, be available. So we figured it's a good time to shoot a new video. Um, if you haven't in a while, a new... Um, program came out for our website design so I redesigned uh, the entire website with the new program and it is now launched and, and out and ready for your viewing and shopping pleasure um, it's not 100% done um, I'm still going to be adding a lot of these um, different products that we now have uh, to the website um, I'm still working on photos and such. Um, I'm not the greatest uh, photographer. And it's hard to take pictures of fish even if you are a good photographer. Because most of them won't sit still for you. Um, but anyway, we're going to be adding more photos. And, and we're always adding more fish and stuff like that. But 110% uh, better than the first design of our website. Which... Um, works but I thought was kind of a, a clustered mess and this one is more modern and organized and user friendly and um, I really think that it's 110% better hopefully you guys think so uh, let us know in the comments below what you guys think um, also you'll notice up here um, that we are starting to add two inch unsexed and a lot of these we are starting to get a pretty good stock after being here now for you know over six eight months so we're starting to get a pretty good stock of you know two inch unsexed so um if you go on to that new website you will see that in a lot of the varieties that we breed um they're starting to pop up two inch unsexed um, there's a good shot of my Super Red Empress Breeder, a.k.a. Big Sexy, um, while we're standing here. But um, they are listed on the website and locally now for local customers. Moving on, you will see the show tank. Um, not sure if anybody enjoys seeing this show tank, but... Um, we put a variety of cichlids that we um, have in here. A lot of them are for sale. Some of them aren't um, for local customers that come in. But we kind of do it just so uh, customers can see what a nice mixture of cichlids looks like in a, in a show or display tank. have a couple of nice peacocks that um, I separated into here um, four inch uh, Benga Sunshine and a four inch Kobu Regal uh, very nice fish great finish egg spots on both um, I brought up my L144 breeding group today uh, for those not familiar the L144 is the blue-eyed albino um, you can see that um, they have very good size and you know a couple males are in the caves already down here are the um, feather fin bristle nose that are available on the website as well as locally um, what you're seeing in there is green beans. That's what we feed them. Um, we have them in both albino, feather fin, and 
common feather fin. Up here, I also brought a fresh batch of our in-house bred bristle nose, both albino and common as well. These guys are pretty small, probably, you know, inch, inch or so, maybe inch and a quarter, but um, we were getting overrun in the breeding colonies at home, so um, I fished out as many as I could catch and I brought them up here to let them grow in the tank up here. On to the fish, uh, Angara flame tails, five inch plus. Rubescens, six inch red top Luandas. These are uh, listed on the website. Uh, these are the four inch plus uh, lemon jakes. Very, very nice. Uh, Dikoshi dragon bloods, uh, O plenty. Bi colors. These guys are pushing six inch, full size pretty much. Up here, flavescence. Looking very, very nice. These are my one of my in-house bred projects. It is a hybrid, it's a blue sunset. Down here are the sunshines. I do have um, three females, but they sold as a breeding group. Um, there's one of the females there, another there, but we do have a bunch of nice males left in here. Over here are Eureka Reds. Varying sizes, four inch, four and a half, five inch. Very, very nice. Up here, five and a half to six inch Kobu Regals. Um, I believe there is one Turkish left, turquoise peacock, sorry. These are the turquoise peacocks out of Florida, not the Turkish from Germany. Um, beautiful blue neons. Five inch plus. OBs. Four and a half up to six inches, like that guy back there. That's another six incher. Um, oranges, yellows, blues, creams. This guy is like an opalescent cream. This guy is like yellow and blue, cream and orange and blue, various colors. In-house bred otter points from my breeding colony up front. Really nice one right there. Um, when I put them in here, they were three and a half to four inch. These have been in here for a while. They're more like four and a half at this point. They're growing pretty good. Over here, Venustis. Up here, six inch Hanjbeshi red shoulders. And these guys are really, really stunning. 
Great finish, uh, coloration, beautiful fish. Up here, the always beautiful blazing ivory head Melotos. Up here are four inch compressiceps, Malawi eye biters. Nice male showing some color there. Down here, the Uchilis, Malawi thick lips. Down here, beautiful blue dolphins. Up here, something we got in last Friday, beautiful monster six inch and D-Way fire haps. Um, this guy is the dominant one. You can tell all his barring is gone. Um, these guys are, are very, very nice and big. Um, six inch, easy. This tank, the always popular Imperial Tigris Blue Golds. The dominant one there, so all his barring's gone. Down here, beautiful Taiwan Reefs. Up here, Chilachalapia Rota size. These are one you don't see all the time. Um, if you have uh, snail issues in your substrate, uh, these guys are great for taking care of that. They crunch on snails and uh, they'll solve your snail problem. Uh, I'm showing some really good color for just over four inch. In this tank, uh, the big strigatus. These guys are you know, five and a half to six inch. Lighting's terrible. Something I'm working on. Uh, but these guys got pretty decent color already. Not sure if it's coming through. Uh, great anal fins. Red with lots of nice egg spots. You can see the red in the shoulder and the blue in the face. <coughs> Xerox. Lithobates. VC-10s, and I have a couple of Borley eyes up there with them. Down here are four inch living stone eye. These are what's commonly referred to as the Insignis, uh, Spilonotus Tanzania. Big, five and a half, six inch, and they don't like being on the camera. Uh, we're gonna run into some dark spots here. Uh, eh, not much I can do about it. Working on lighting, Protomelis Hertes, five inches easy. Um, some of these are starting to show some pretty good color. I uh, probably won't pick it up because of how dark it is. Once I added the rest of these tanks, I got some dark spots. So I'm working on lighting. Uh, five and a half to six inch Red Empress. Very nice. Big, beautiful Jalo Reefs, anywhere from four and a half to six inch. Very, very nice. Uh, Mylochromus amphromimus. Down here are some tetrastigmas. 
Got some nice four and a half to five inchers as well as some that are about yeah, three and a half. Um, these other ones were sold to me as OB Red Empress. I don't have them listed. Uh, I'm kind of growing them out to see how they turn out. Over here are the wild caught polystigmas. So I don't have these listed on the website uh, yet. Uh, these are very hard to sex, at least for me, because um, that pattern um, goes on to their underbelly where their vents are, uh, makes it very hard to see. Um, there is one for sure male, this big guy here. Uh, he's got color already and his anal fin is actually pointed and he's got blue and green in him when you take him out. Um, so I have one male and then there is also the one uh, Lenny or Lenai, however you want to play. Also very hard to sex. I have a nice big red cap Lethernops left. Showing really good color because he's in there by himself now. Um, these are spoken for, but I'll show them to you. These are actually wild caught Uchilis, uh, Malawi thick lips, and you can see why they're called that um, for some reason. Um, in captivity, when they're bred, they do not get these big, thick lips like they do in the wild. Um, that is the male there, and there's three females as well. Um, this group is sold already, but figured I'd show them to you. Um, these are already sold as well, um, but I will show them to you. Uh, these are wild-caught Malawi gars. All three are male. I uh, had four. One went out yesterday. Another's going out today. Um, let's see. What do we got over here? Um, this guy right here is the Mylochromus M2 Swallow Caught. Um, this is going to my good buddy uh, Frankie Kenneth uh, tonight. Um, the rest of the ones in here are Mylochromus uh, Molas, wild caught Mylochromus Mola. Uh, you can see there's a nice male there. I haven't sexed these yet, that's why I haven't listed them. Up here, beautiful tangerine tigers, six inch, uh, five and a half to six inch. I got some four and a half to fives that aren't showing much color because of the big guys yet. And up here are the wild caught ornatus that I have left right now. Um, one of these, the big guy, um, this guy right here in the front is going to my good buddy Frankie Kenneth with the M shoes. Um, this one is spoken for and this one up here is spoken for for a couple other people that will go out you know, this weekend or next week. I have one of the para, Parapalapia Pelinis left. In this tank, I hope the color shows because they're looking really good. These are Lethernot Marginatus Red Fins. Um, these ones are three and a half uh, or four inch. These ones showing the really good color are closer to five. Um, hopefully the color is coming through on camera because um, some of these are just looking really nice. Down here I have a Goldfin Borley Eye left and he doesn't want to be on camera. Over here the wild caught Malawi Trouts, Champs Chromis. Up here, uh, the wild caught Macrostomas, Tyrannochromis Macrostoma. There's a nice big male there. Uh, he's at least eight inches. 
here's a nice seven inch Tyrannochromus Niger Ventor. And then same in here, there's a mixture of Niger Ventors and Macrostomas. These are the big guys, the seven to eight inch. Up here are the five to six inch wild caught Niger Ventors and like that guy is a Macrostoma. Up here, and I hope this comes through on camera, the actual size of these guys. Um, I got some more Aristochromus uh, Christi eyes, uh, Malawi Hawks. Um, these guys are quite a bit bigger than last time. Um, this is an extra large sponge filter. Uh, and you can see that they take up every bit of the sponge filter and then some. Um, these guys, like that one up there, is probably over seven inches, and I'm not sure because they won't sit still. Uh, he's got color already. Same with this guy here. Um, so these guys are anywhere from six inch to seven inch plus. Down here, some more five inch. Buchachromus notitanius. This guy's uh, nice and fired up, got some nice color. Below that, Buchachromus spectabilis. These guys are uh, a bit bigger than the notitanius. Also showing some very nice color. Up here, I moved the wild caught goldfin mabita sips and uh, the few blue ventralis I have left. Um, the sips I'm selling as trios. There's a male and two females times two, so there's six of them total. Down here are deep water haps. Very, very nice. Below them are albino Taiwan reefs. Very nice as well. Up here are the wild caught fire blue lupingu. Thread finicaris. Candizi Blue Orchids. Nice dominant male starting to show some really good color. And I do have a breeding group left as well as a bunch of three and a half inch males. Got lots of nice variety of beautiful angelfish. Um, these guys are very big. Um, probably about the size of the palm of my hand. Different variations of colors and patterns and goodies. This is the in-house bread tank. Albino Eureka, some Xerox, some Swallowtails, uh, Apache. Below that are the big Rostratus. Um, there's a five incher, the rest are, uh, most of them are six inch. Probably not showing, but they're, they got some good coloration in their face already. <clears throat> in this tank are the wild caught red rainbows, very active. Every time I walk over here, they want uh, some flake. <laughs> uh, du Boises. 
These are tank rays, not wild caught. These are wild caught. Up here are the nice five inch plus star sapphires. And I was just able to get a few of these in today, again, from a local breeder. Um, they're still settling in. They just got here about 20 minutes ago. Uh, Madoka White Lips. Uh, my good buddy Kyle messaged me yesterday and asked me about them, so I'll have to let him know I was able to get a few. These will not last long. Uh, I haven't added them to the website. I want to let them settle in a little bit. Down here are the wild caught Synodonis multipunctatus. This guy's uh, good size, four inch or so. You can see the water change system working. These are uh, the red suns. Lucerne Midnights, Malaria Chidunga Rocks, looking really nice. These are um, the Flame, another one of my in-house bred hybrids. Down here, I have a few of the Cornelii Blue Golds left. Up here, something new, uh, kind of rare from what I understand. The Autopharynx Ovatus, I guess it would be pronounced. Kind of a cool fish. Blue with some nice barring, got that white trim, got a little bit of green in the face. Over here, Pundamilla near eye. Really nice color. Down here are the Macoby Island Nyeri eyes. See, they have a little bit of different coloring and pattern, different collection point as well. And then on the back row, um, these are more of the Buchachromis spectabilis. These are more of in-house bred peacocks, Maylandi sulfur heads. Um, this is a three inch Taiwan reef, showing really good color. A little two and a half inch Apache peacock, are all fired up. Um, I know there's an Angara and a lemon jake in here somewhere. There's the Angara. You can see his nice flame. Um, the lemon jake, I don't know where he is. Oh, he's underneath the angara. So, he's hiding right there. Um, these are uh, wild caught stigmatochromous wood eye. Uh, I have two males. Uh, if you're interested in them, email me. jlargo20 gmail.com um, You can look these up. they really cool fish when they color up. I have a couple more wild cots in here. Uh, most of the, some of them are spoken for, uh, like this one here. Uh, this right there is a wild caught Kuingi. Down here are the Lethernop and Bozzi, looking really nice. Up here, the algae's growing because of the light up there, but um, 
two and a half to three inch Champsochromus Malawi Trouts. Um, probably gonna put these in one of the grow out tubs and let them grow, but uh, haven't decided yet. Down here, two and a half to three inch Albino Taiwan Reefs. Quite a few of them. Seems that we're back here. My star sapphire breeding group. Um, there's one of the males, the other one's up here dancing around. Very, very nice. Lots of girly friends. There's the other male. Both of them are chipping out really nice. Alrighty, folks. Uh, I believe that's it for this walkthrough. Again, please go check out the new website. Uh, let me shut this off. I'll show you guys in here. Uh, I put, hopefully it's showing up, those two and a quarter inch uh, Exochromus anagenes. I can see them, so I'm hoping you can see them. Um, they're in here growing out. In the, one of the grow out tubs. And then I also put the, this one has the three inch plus bucos in it, buconotos. So they're in the tubs growing out. These exos are kind of cool though. They kind of stand out. But anyway. So that's it for this walkthrough. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the new website again. Let us know what you guys think of it. Um, I think it's a lot more uh, modern and nice to look at. Um, you can see one of the new rows. Looks pretty cool with all the tanks in, finally. Um, even the ones on the end over here. So, pretty cool. Um, I'll be doing another video. Um, a lot of people are asking me to do a video on how on my water change system. So, I'm going to try and squeeze that in before the end of the weekend and do a video on that. Um, so if I don't, um, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'd really like to thank everybody for all your support this year. Um, as you can see, the Cichlid Shack is growing. Um, we've been able to expand into the store, into this beautiful setup. Uh, couldn't have done none of that without you guys uh, supporting us. I uh, really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless.